Hi guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the second Bolt Action Battle Report of 2023. And this time it's Scenario 3. Well, again, from the Gentleman's War starter set. Now, the Scenario 3 actually uses a thousand points per side. However, you only get a roughly 500 points E per side in the Gentleman's War set. So I think Scenario 3 is a bit a bit unfair really to put it in there however i have got the british eighth army starter army and i've pulled some units out of that put them together and sprayed them uh, white and we will use them during the game to make the british up to a thousand points and my opponents had a thousand points of germans so I didn't take any pictures of the armies, I'm afraid, but I can give you a list of what was in each army. So the German army consists of a uh, second lieutenant plus one man, both with SMGs, four eight-man regular infantry squads with NCO SMG and one LMG. Then we have a uh, light mortar team, a reg anti-tank rifle team, a reg MMG team, Reg 223 armored car, uh, Reg Panzer 4, and a Reg uh, truck with uh, MMG. Uh, British Army consists of everything that was in the Gentleman's War starter set, plus the addition of an extra two eight man regular infantry squads, NCO with SMG and LMG. Then we have a regular light howitzer, a Reg MMG team, and a Reg Matilda 2. Okay. Yeah. Let's focus. Okay, so this time we're going to play the Scenario 3 Desert War. Now, it's a bit of a cop out, really, because it says you need a thousand points. So I have added these extra units in white and the Matilda to what comes in the Gentleman's War set, which is not really fair, really, putting a scenario in that you haven't got the models in the set to play. But anyway. We should get on, and a special rule is the Dawn Assault rule. So, we're going to play this now. And again, over the far side there, there's a thousand points of Germans. So, we'll come back at the end of the first turn and let you know how we're getting on. Okay, so that's the end of turn one. Um, due to the Dawn Assault rule, basically, your visibility is 12 inches. And then if you run, you add six inches that etc. Uh, at the end of the turn, you roll the dice and roll d6, and yeah, it's a six. So dawn assault is no longer in effect. So now we can just play a normal game as such. <laughs> okay, so let's come back at the end of turn two. Okie dokie, that's the end of turn two. Uh, not a great deal happened, uh, things moved forward. The eight rads wrecked from the shot from the howitzer. However, a uh, major point was this got immobilized by the anti tank rifle team, which was subsequently killed. But this is at two points for the Germans because vehicles are worth two points, and I got one point for the anti tank rifle team. So, Germans are winning at the moment. So, so turn three, we'll just there. Uh, Roll for the artillery, see if it comes in. What do we need? Four, four or more, is it? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Six. Yeah, so it comes in. Yeah, so roll again. Need another six. Two, so it's eight inches. So that's, I think it's only an HQ. You might get up as well. Oops. No. No, yeah, just the HQ. Okay, so let's roll. And here we go. And we rolled a th three. D3 pins. D3 pins. Roll again. And it is two pins. Two pins. Okay, so that's the end of turn three. And things are starting to thin out a bit. I managed to pop that truck eventually. 
MMG is gone. However, my squads are getting decimated. Look at this. From nine to three men. From nine to one men. It's really looking bad over here. Um, I lost a man off this. Uh, but the Germans are still quite strong in numbers. The, the squads are still intact. Let's see how it goes the end of the next turn. It's not looking good for the British this time. That's the end of that turn. Uh, no more casualties that turn. Oh yeah, that. Sorry, I managed to get that. The eight rad's gone. Um, yeah, but my squad with three man left there has gone. Um, and what I've done is I've. My opponents cleverly said you should have hid. So I thought, okay, I will. So I ran my squad that I've got left back here so it's going to take him uh, more than we've got left to get across the table to get at them that, that's my plan anyway so there's that squad there and that squad is hq that squad up there i've completely decimated this one along with the uh, panzer so that squad's nearly gone. only one guy left there so we'll see what happens at the end of this turn that's the end of that turn uh, the mortar team Ran round there, out of the way of the MMG, so I've moved the MMG round, ready to shoot down that way next turn. We've got a bit of a uh, tank fight going on here, point blank range, I missed. Uh, don't know how that happened, but it did. They've advanced over the wall, HQ from there has ran round there, so I couldn't hit it with the Humber. They both advanced after this guy, and that's it that turn. Uh, let's see what happens. Is it turn six now, isn't it? The last, well, maybe the last turn. Okay, okay so that's the end of uh, the sixth turn. We're going to roll now to see if there's a seventh turn. Two. Got it. <laughs> we don't get one. No, no, that's it. Game over. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I don't, the point, but well, I'll just quick over what happened. There. So that round fired and did nothing um the panzer fired at the matilda um well attempted to fail the tour the test and had to back up and matilda managed to immobilize it so i got two points for that two points for that and two points for that being immobilized so I'll just work out the points now what to how many units did you get so there's one, two, three. So I've got four of my units got killed. Plus some mobilizing that is six points. How many units German units were killed? So there's four German units killed. All I've done with that. All of the truck. Yeah, so, so I think you've got nine points. Yeah. I think I've got six. Yeah. So the, the British actually managed to win. That was a surprise. But that because of some sneaky action by me moving everything back behind here so they couldn't be shot at really. So a bit sneaky gameplay, but yeah, good game. Uh thanks very much for watching. Hi okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the battle report. The unit of the game for me was definitely the light howitzer. Uh, its ability to be used as a light anti-tank gun as well is absolutely amazing. It definitely accounted for a lot of the German casualties. The Matilda II was surprisingly tough. I definitely thought the Panzer IV would have took it out early on. Uh, surprise it managed to thing. Although uh, maybe the positioning in the ruins uh, helped its survivability because my opponent needed a five to hit it. So that definitely makes a difference. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Gentleman's War starter set build and play through the scenarios. I'm now going to crack on and get this 8th Army starter set finished. Thanks again for watching and see you all next time.